An elite race walker synchronizes arm and hip motion to maximize efficiency and speed. While the exact range of motion of the arms varies slightly with speed and effort, each arm travels from a couple of inches behind the hip to just above the chest line. Notice how when the arm swings forward, the wrist is positioned above the ankle. The primary power for arm movement is derived from the backward swing of the arm. It's not a wild pumping action and does not require much effort to thrust the arm forward. The shoulders need to be relaxed, allowing the shoulder to act as a fulcrum with the arm swinging like a pendulum. With the proper arm angle, when you drive back, the arm swings to the proper position at a few inches behind your hip. With a relaxed shoulder, your arm recoils forward to the correct location. You'll be surprised how little effort is required to keep your arm moving quickly. But note that your arms can only move as fast as your hips and legs. It's all about synchronicity. Observe closely and you can see how the shoulders and torso move slightly forward as the opposite hip rotates forward. As the walker's left foot makes contact with the ground, their right shoulder moves slightly in front of their left. You can also notice the forward presence of the right side of their torso as it counters the left hip's forward progression. Proper arm swing must also take into account how the arm crosses in front of the body. Observe how the arm swings forward as if shaking someone's hand. One key to good arms is to relax the shoulders. While the shoulders do move slightly forward and back, countering the walker's hip rotation, they should remain relatively still. Also observe the height of your shoulders and check whether they're relaxed. Since you won't be carrying a ruler, simply place one hand on your shoulder and lower it as far down as it can go. When your shoulder is all the way down, it is relaxed. 